How times have changed. Kentucky is the number two state for growing tobacco, but its senior senator, the Senate's leader, wants to raise the smoking age to 21. NBC 10 DC correspondent Raquel Martin reports why even the vaping industry plans to support it. I'll introduce legislation to raise the minimum age to buy tobacco products from 18 to 21. Under the clouded smoke from the Mueller report, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced plans to try and keep tobacco products out of kids' hands. This will cover all tobacco uh, products, including uh, vaping devices. McConnell, who represents the second largest tobacco state in the nation, says teen vaping is a big concern. The U.S. Surgeon General calls the problem an epidemic. And the CDC says one in five high school students reported vaping last year. If that helps get uh, vapor products and tobacco products out of high schools, we're all for it. Mike Hogan is with the Pro Vaping Trade Association. He says he's optimistic about McConnell's plan, but hopes it doesn't go too far. Right now, Democrats are pushing plans that would also ban flavored tobacco, something even the FDA has warned may harm adults trying to wean off of traditional toxic cigarettes. It's important that we not make the mistake that flavors are the cause of this. They're not. At least a dozen states have already passed some version of a Tobacco 21 law. Senator McConnell hasn't released details on his plan, but says it will include an exemption for those who serve in the military. We're very uh, concerned and skeptical about Senator McConnell's legislation. Paul Billings with the American Lung Association says he fears McConnell's bill will include loopholes and protections for tobacco companies. Until details are out, he's encouraging lawmakers to sign on to other Democrat-backed plans in the Senate. In Washington, Raquel Martin.